I'm going to show you how to install or replace a side spigot for drinking water on your kitchen sink. If you find this content helpful, please subscribe. So here we have our spigot. Uh, you can see it's off, but it is still dripping. Uh, that's why we're going to replace it. You can see all the, the uh, hard water residue on the end of it. It must just be clogged up and it can't fully close anymore. So we're just going to go ahead and replace it. Here's the new kit. Um, it's very similar. We're just going to replace the main component. Um, so first thing we got to do is turn the water off, but I just want to give you a nice look at the corrosion on there. So under the sink, turn the hot and cold water off, or in this case, we just needed the cold off. Let that drain out, turn the spigot back on and, and let all the water fall back out. Once that's finished draining out, you can go under the sink. You'll see two nuts, one holding on the white hose and one attaching the, the spigot to the sink. So the first thing we do is remove the bottom one. A little bit of water drained out, no big deal. Now we can undo the upper one that actually seats the spigot to kind of the, the sink assembly. So I can't film this uh, while it was in there, but I need to re uh, uh, loosen that nut that you can see there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. With that off, the spigot comes right off. We can see the attachments, the silver cover and the rubber grommet. We just wanna make sure that we install the new one correctly. So we put the silver stainless steel cover and the rubber grommet on. I just let that rest there. And then once I can get underneath it, I can attach it. Again, just showing you the order that you need to attach the washers on. So I just let it rest like that. And then I get under the sink and we can attach the rubber and plastic and, and metal washers that secure everything uh, to, to, the, to the sink. So there's that washer holder. And now I just need to put on the nut. So you just get that nice and secure. Doesn't need to be too tight, but tight enough so that the spigot doesn't wiggle. So here's showing you what I got it on. And I just need to tighten it down all the way. You can see it's still loose. And now I'm tightening it uh, secure so that it won't move. And once that is tightened up, we can attach the, the, the hose uh, nut. And it simply just fits right in there because I did get the same style spigot. We don't need to make any modifications. And we just tighten that down. Once that's nice and secure, we can turn the water on and verify that it's not leaking out of anywhere. Once that's done, we can test the spigot and we'll be, we'll be done. So I just pulled down that hose very slightly. Um, I'm just looking for, for any leaking water with, the, with it on. And, Look at that, it's working great. So if you found this content helpful, hit the like button and please subscribe to the channel.